How you doing friends? It's me, Jeff Loveland of Faithful United, here with another episode of The Journey, um, an interview series we have of just local pastors, local ministry leaders, and those impacting the kingdom of God. And so I'm here with my father, Ray Loveland. How you doing, Dad? I'm doing great. Good. So we're just here to, um, this time we're just going to have an episode of The Journey talking about Faithful United, where we've been, where we're at currently, where we're going, and even a couple fun stories along the way. So, okay. Um, anyways, um, yeah, so Faithful United. Faithful United started with God wake me up in the middle of the night with a dream. A uh, dream of uniting the body, bringing people together as one to help those in need. Uh, basically, you go out, you go uh, love your neighbor, help someone in need in one way, shape, or form, but you. you you do it in a way that speaks to your heart. So whether it's uh, prison ministry, writing a letter of encouragement, if it's mentoring, uh, maybe going to an elderly home and just uh, be there to read a book, uh, play some music, just something that speaks to your heart. We believe um, there's always people that want to go help, but we don't. they don't necessarily know what's out there. That's one thing that we really want to change. Uh, we definitely want to connect people to churches, uh, there's many great churches out there where um, they have so many things that they do that are great and people don't necessarily know about them unless they're being highlighted. And so that's what Faith United is doing. We are we put the church on the website. We get to know them first. We make sure we know what their beliefs are. Um, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. Uh, the Bible is a living, breathing book. You know, these are the things that we believe, and we want to make sure also that these churches very much believe that as well. Uh, we don't want to point people in the wrong direction. Do you, right. do you agree with oh, that? Absolutely. Um, sometimes you'll see uh, a church or something with some crazy beliefs. I mean, you don't see it a lot, but every once in a while there's a church that uh, will just do something just so culturally um, uh, something that's happening in the culture and not biblically, biblically based. And so we want to point people in the direction of a church where you grow in your faith and your relationship with Christ. We want to point people to a church where uh, you just you get to have a great, solid relationship with Christ. You get to know the Word. You get to grow in community. And you find opportunities to go help people in need. So that's... Would anything you would like to add to that? No, it's just uh, it's been a good journey so far. Mm -hmm. So both of us are new in this ministry field. We haven't. Um, I'm getting rid of that, so I don't get distracted there. Um, so we are very new in this journey. Uh, that's called the journey. Uh, but um, we're going forward, and God's providing for us. He's He's leading the way one step at a time. And, and sometimes he'll even have multiple things happen where it's just, you can't explain other than it's God, you know, mm -hmm. and it's, it's exciting. And it's, when it happens over and over, you know that this is something where the, God is leading the way and he's just telling us to go forward. And that's, that's exciting. It is. We just have to make sure we follow through. Right. And go do what we're told. Absolutely. Being obedient. And actually, follow through is my, one of my... Most important things that really something that speaks to me. Um, if I tell you I'm going to do something, you can count that I'm going to follow through on it. If I give you my word, or if I even just get to know you and say I'm going to do that, just consider it done. That's something that's mm -hmm. important to me. Um, actually, to be honest with you, as we go out and connect with different people of uh, different places, it's just a matter of. Um, we provide the time to get to know them as a relationship and, and vice versa, but uh, our word is our bond, and that's important. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about relationships. It's about how can we help you, uh, the churches and the ministries, to get out there further. Because when you're being blessed, the community is being blessed. The kingdom is being blessed. People are getting to know Christ uh, more and more, and it's important. So Yeah, it is. Um, now you just want to share a bit, a little bit about yourself. Now you were very involved with your church before in a different, um, uh, in a different kind of a way. So yeah, you we want to share about that? And... Sure. Uh, originally Connie, my wife and your mm -hmm. mother and I, we, uh, were, we were treasurers for a while mm -hmm. 
and five years, and then then we I became the um, financial director or not director secretary correction, mm-hmm. whereas I did all the deposits and and I did that for five years. Wow! At the same time, uh, Marge and I uh, we would lead a, um, a Bible study class every all year long, you know, mm-hmm. during the September through summertime, mm-hmm. and we've done that many years. And now after. You got started with Mission Church on the uh, morning prayer. I uh, asked uh, Pastor Matt if we could start one in our, our church, uh, Trinity United Methodist. And mm-hmm. He was excited to start a prayer group, and it started out uh, slow. Um, of course, 6 in the morning for an older church, that is pretty, that's a, kind of an early time for people. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. And uh, so we started out, and it was just mainly me and God. And but mm-hmm. I'd read my prayers just like everybody was there. And and then uh, summertime came, and I said, let's change this to uh, eleven o'clock. Mm-hmm. And from then we have grown now to uh, uh, maybe five or six. Wow. We've had a, a little bit at a time. A little bit at a yep. time. Yep. And uh, uh, the church, the chapel is open, and it's quiet and. I'll start out with scriptures, and then we'll go into prayer, and then uh, whatever they have that uh, their concern, we'll bring back out. And, mm-hmm. and it's amazing that when I type up the prayers, it is the same thought patterns that they bring up before we start praying. That's the Holy Spirit. And and, yeah. and then when I type out the prayers, it's it, the words just come to me, and I just start typing. Wow. And uh, sometimes they hit real to the point, and sometimes. Uh, it considers the world and envir- environment and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, like it was interesting. This week's been a wild week. Yeah. Tuesday <laughs> for me too. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, Tuesday I brought up uh, a written paper and about how the, these uh, families are being separated at the border. Mm-hmm. And so I brought up the prayers to the prayer group and I said, you know, we, we can't do this anymore. You know, the mm-hmm. children are crying. We can't. Yeah. Make the same mistakes we made several dozen times, as well as uh, sure. different countries. And I said, "It's up to you, God, to intervene and tell the uh, people to uh, what, make a decision." Well, I love what you just said about that. It's important. It's up to you, God, to mm-hmm. intervene, step in, and make a difference. That's right. And too many times in this country alone, we are so divided on this, uh, this, and many other things like this, and we are letting. Uh, news stories, uh, cultural uh, events that are happening, uh, movements. We are letting this infiltrate our churches mm-hmm. and our messages. And I, actually, um, I think it's important where we get back as a body of Christ to focusing on, on Him, uh, what His will is, what His word is, and stop having uh, culture uh, start dictating what we do in a church. And that's where I was going. It's, uh, so we just prayed that, hey, Father, it's you need to intervene yes. because we're we're just not capable of coming mm-hmm. to a decision. Mm-hmm. And so what happens yesterday morning? There's an executive order saying that no longer will they be separated. Mm. I says, well, that's Which is the momentum. right direction, momentum. Right. Sure. And then, on whatever side you look at it, it's mm-hmm. at least progress. So and God is moving. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then when you told me about what happened the other day for you. <laughs> sure. I yeah. mean, that's uh, just fantastic. And uh, so, so I took off today on that, that aspect of yeah. the prayer of the group. And I says, well, this is what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I will share about this because the journey is about sharing like how God is moving in each and every one of us in our churches and the community. It's just showing how God's moving. And uh, uh, the journey is about just showing that God is there. He's He's here, he's there, he's he's everywhere. And when you can share stories and testimonies of how good God is, how he steps in, and what he does, it's amazing. So, um, I will share this because I think this is an amazing story. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's still being written. And before I get to that story, let me make one thing. I'm learning really fast that God is the biggest and the best storyteller of all time. And the reason I say that is you see these stories in the Bible and even in our daily lives of how things happen. And it's not like I'm just going to instantly change that for you. He's going to have you go. 
you're going to face some adversity. And what that does is we say, oh my gosh, Lord, we need you. We need you on our side. And it Uh just brings us closer to him each step of the way. So he doesn't want to just be like, oh, it's done. He wants you to keep seeking him. And he'll give you um, opportunities left and right to just feel how and see how good he is. So let me share about this because there is a sequence of events for this story. So this uh, today is Thursday. So last Friday, I was uh, going through uh, a different podcast. Uh, I listen to podcasts at work and uh, sometimes music of different uh, different genres and all that. But I was actually searching for a, a different podcast and I just couldn't find it. But I stumbled across a podcast called 200 Churches. And if you are a pastor of a small church or even just a ministry startup, I encourage you, listen to this podcast. These two uh, pastors come together to help churches across the nation and and world uh, to just, it's like a way of connecting uh, the the churches and just being like, so what's going on here? How, what what do you do good so others also can do good? And I was just listening as someone starting a ministry and and just their points is just these things are things I can relate to. And so as through their podcast, I was being edified and built up and strengthened and encouraged and just it motivated me to just keep going forward. So that was Friday I discovered that podcast. And then yesterday, uh, oh, sorry, two days ago on Tuesday, I, I was just listening to a couple of podcasts and one of them was the president of uh, Crown College and it just I was really tuning in just listening to what he had to say about um, going to school to to get your background in ministry to um, you know anymore we can't just assume everyone knows the word we're at that point now where we just need to make sure everyone is getting up to date on you know what's in the Bible and this is what this story is and there's so much truth in that podcast and it just it really spoke to me and then I was driving home uh, from work and I just heard an advertisement on the radio uh, and this is the timing of this is perfect because there was a almost like a fork in the road so I can either go left towards going home or I can go right to where they're at which is this church and I, I just listened. They said there's an open house. You get to know um, um, the president and the vice president and all those that are part of this college that's coming in. Get to know them. Well, I just hop on over. Uh, I didn't. I didn't either. I didn't pay attention to the time or it wasn't said. But I just go there. The event didn't happen for two more hours, so I just go in, tell them like, "Hey, I heard your podcast. I heard this commercial. I'm here. God sent me. <laughs> you know, just kind of tell them the whole story." So I got to know the president, I got to know the vice president, and a bunch of their team members. And then I also got to know the radio station. They let me crash their uh, radio segment to put me online as well, as just someone that's curious about the college and continuing education and and ministry and uh, learning about business in that sense. I didn't know it was two hours later. (laughs) (laughs) So you're a little early. I was a little early. It was very humbling. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, God set that up perfectly. Um, he, he had me hear the, uh, the podcast that day. I, I didn't choose that podcast. I was just it, it rolled to the next episode. But it spoke to me. And then I'm driving down the road, and right before I have to go towards my exit, they give me in time to realize, oh, I'm just going to head right there. And then to have the quality time to get to know these guys, make connections, not just necessarily for the moment, but for down the road, one way or another. Um, I don't know what all that means. I still have to go forward in this. God's still writing this chapter, but it's it's good. Uh, but what I can tell you is, um, from what I heard, from what I've gotten to know, that Crown College, that's, that's going to be a great thing for Omaha. Mm-hmm. So God is good. I got to meet a bunch of people uh, connecting and um, some things being built up for down the road. Well, that's uh, that I took that this morning. And when I when I type out a prayer for a prayer group, Mm -hmm. uh, I just hit on an idea and then I go to the scriptures and get some scriptures. Then I'll just start typing 
what's the scripture trying to relate it to what I want to bring out. Sure. And and I sometimes I just really don't pay attention when I punch it when I type. But You're when in I the type, zone. Yeah, I'm in the zone. <laughs> when I type, you got to realize I don't type good. You peck. I peck. I got <laughs> three or four finger pecking, you know. So, but are spelled correct. Sure, sure. <laughs> and so this morning, uh, what I hit on this morning was uh, uh, answered prayers. Have confidence in the answers. And I said, okay, Jeff, let's go through this and see what we can find. Okay. To, to uh, certify that uh, what is true and what may not be true. Sure. And a couple of the things, uh, I even end up going out to Joel 219, and and I said, wow, Joel, I haven't ever read him for a long time. And it says, Jesus will answer and say to his people, behold, I will send you grain and new wine and oil, and you will be satisfied by them. And uh, then I, saw, I wrote a little sub note. I said, confused with his answers. And Proverbs 3 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lay not on your own understandings. In all ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Yes. And I Amen. love those. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's so true. We just got to go forward. I mean, he's ordering our steps. We just, we just got to have trust and just go forward. And he wants us to go forward. When we go forward, he provides the next piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Um, of what is to come. But he wants us to seek him each and every day, kind of like our daily bread. We have to go each and every day to meet him and seek him. Well, I guess maybe that's what he did with Moses with the manna, where they mm -hmm. had to seek right. breakfast every day. And they had to eat it all. They had to eat it all. Yep. They couldn't you save it. <laughs> right. Because they needed to seek him each and every that's day. That's right. At least that's how I interpret it. Well, that's how yeah. I did yeah, it. Uh, so, uh, ministry, we're brand new in this. We're the small fish in the pond, but we're starting to get recognized. And it's not about how fast we go or anything like that. It's about the relationships, and it's about the churches and the ministries that we can highlight, uh, let people know what they're doing, how to get involved, get connected. Uh, that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. It's not about uh, we want this amount of money. Actually, we've never asked for any kind of money. We, we are literally doing this because we, we love God. He gave us an amazing direction to go forward, and that's where we're going. So. And I like what FC says all the time. It's, uh, it's God's currency. And I say, right. how's that? And he explained it saying, you know, God will provide what you need. Mm -hmm. And it's a hard step to trust that mm -hmm. because we're so accustomed right. to this crazy world, you know, the Somebody's mm -hmm. going to trick you. Sure. You yeah. Know, so you're not really confident. But uh, as right. we read the scriptures, and you know, we just have to take that faith step. Absolutely. And that's why I wanted to do this episode today because we are still in the infancy stage of this ministry. Matter of fact, we're not even a nonprofit yet. We're in the we're on the cusp of that. Mm -hmm. So we are just we're finalizing our board members. Um, uh, technically, we have the requirements. We just I want to make sure it's right. You know, that's an important piece of the puzzle for our foundation to go uh, the distance. Uh, so I don't want to rush that. I definitely don't want to rush God's timing. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, everything's good. And he reminds me, too, of don't focus on what is to come. Focus on what's right in front of you. And the churches that we have on here and the ministries that we have on here. And even we highlight small groups as well. So if you're not in a small group, check out our website faithfullyunited.org and just click on um, uh, contact. We can get you connected to one of the small groups and one of the churches. So we want people to grow in their faith. What I find kind of amazing is uh, you come over to my house, our house mm -hmm. and you gave me a box of business cards. And I said, are you sure you want me to do this? Because <laughs> I'm retired and, yeah, and yeah. I, I miss talking to uh, business people. So Sure. So I went, out, I went out real fast and uh, started uh, hitting on churches like, you know. Now, when you... Not hitting on. <laughs> not <kidding. laughs> yeah. I I also <laughs> wanted to do this video now because we're so brand new in this. So five, ten years later down the road, when we're much further along, we can, <laughs> we can watch this again, laugh, and just have a good time. Uh, these... Watch these two goofy guys on this broadcast talk about ministry. And we're just so new in this, but we're going further. And it's exciting. Yeah. You mentioned before, uh, when you did the treasury and you're constantly working with numbers and this and that. And it, after a while, 
between that and small groups and things, you kind of get burnt out. Yeah, you do get right? burnt out because you look at how hard it is to mm -hmm. make ends meet. Right. And you're still relying on Christ. And and our church went through real struggles. And I keep saying that God is here. Which a lot Which, of churches do. Yeah. And that's why we yes. want to try to yeah. help and get your name out there mm -hmm. and what you're doing so people know. Yeah. And, and so even when it looks so negative when you look at the financial, but you know, we were still open. Mm -hmm. We still had a full time pastor. Yep. And I said, yeah, God's going to be here. He's here. I can feel him, you know, because it's mm -hmm. going to happen. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, we're out, you know, mm -hmm. a few gifts to us and we're out of debt. Now we're going to start the daycare. Right. We're going to start our missions. And uh, Now on Monday, I am uh, actually sitting down with your pastor right now, Pastor Matt Fowler of Trinity United Methodist Church uh, in Ralston, Nebraska. Uh, we just get to kind of share about your church. So tune in on Monday. Listen to see what they have to offer. They have so much to offer, guys. Mm -hmm. They have they have a basketball, volleyball court. Um, um, they have uh, what's that? Uh, Lost and Found program where yes. people can come in and get like clothes and things. Where it's just to help them just you know have some new things and not worry about prices. You know they they're being blessed. And it's mainly the uh, Hispanics people that come. Uh, sure. It started out with just the lost clothing at schools, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. left there during the summer. You know, when the children leave, they have all these clothing. Sure. So then they started but bringing not, it in. That's not entirely true. I mean, I've seen different uh, people go, you know, yeah. from different backgrounds. So it's, it's what all, a blessing it is. It, it is. I can't remember the number she said, but I, it's in the thousands. Wow. You know, in the five years, it's been mm -hmm. six years. But now what that does is that speaks to someone out there mm -hmm. that's like, that's so cool. How do I get connected to that? And that's what we're trying to do is st if you want to be at your church, it's great. You know, you love it. But if there's something out here that speaks to you, you want to get connected or know more or see what they're doing so you can also do that. You know, that's what we're about is kind of uniting the body and bringing people together. Yeah, I'm going to get a head start on Matt. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Now remember, July third, yes. we have a, a uh, lunch or supper in the uh, park. Okay, and we're putting on the food and stuff. Which is on the events page. It's on the event page. Page three United. And then very next morning, July fourth, during the parade, we have uh, our food stand set up there right at the beginning. Yes, and, and that's a big uh, mission thing for us too. You know, it speaks mm -hmm. out. Right. And we have a new parking lot that we uh, that opened up. That's real nice there. So God is blessing. It is. He's, he, you went through some trials, but he's blessing you. So when I came around and said, Dad, God spoke to me, and we're, I'm going to start a ministry. And I want you on my team. Uh, uh, you're going to be one of my board members. Um, what You're kind of tired before, but that really relit your fire, you said. Yeah, yeah it did really relight the fire. Mm -hmm. uh, just that 5 o'clock morning service it was pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't have to go home and take a nap for a couple hours after I come back. Sure, sure. But, uh, it, it got me inspired. Right. And so then we, right. and then you, it, the Faith United just kind of ignited it. And, mm -hmm. and for me to sit down and be able to write out a prayer without uh, really giving a lot of thought, because when you're pecking, you know, you, you, sure. you're thinking of the word that you're pecking. Mm -hmm. But all these words are coming through to, you know, bring it in and bring it out. I mentioned one thing in your prayer, and I said, Dad, when you keep everything internal and you don't say it out loud, you're not helping me also grow in that area as well. And as I mentioned, you know, with your prayer, maybe verbalize it. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is what God's given you to share or to build you up, by you verbalizing it, you also might be blessing someone else with a word. They're like, wow, I needed that today. That's exactly you right. Know? And as you're finding in your group, you type these prayers out that God's just kind of put in your heart. And like you said, people are coming there. You don't say what's on there, mm -mm. but it's already on the paper. It's and already what on the they're paper. saying mm -hmm. matches up. And, and amazing exciting. is, you know, I borrow, I look at the scriptures that I have open, and when I'm typing prayer, I will use the words there mm -hmm. and whatever's coming into the pipe. Yep. And, uh, and amazing that when we get there, it's. It's the same thing that if they were that was on their mind. So basically, now we are brand new. Well, we've been going for a while, mm -hmm. but um, I also it's not about rushing the timeline. Matter of fact, 
I had to make a tough decision in the last several days, and that was uh, we were going to have a worship event of multiple churches coming up here in August. But I just, the, the timing wasn't just quite right. And so I didn't want to say we're not doing it, but I just wanted to bump it back a little bit so we could become a little bit more established, become the nonprofit, get that ball rolling. But then we could truly get all the little details all planned out for the event. That way, the churches, any ministries we highlight or share about at that event, they are being positively highlighted and not in a in a rushed sense. So mm-hmm. I thought that was a good move. Uh, we'll be do, probably doing that spring 2019. I'm not going to set a date just yet, but um, I didn't say we're not doing it. We're just going to bump it back a little bit, I think, which is tough. To I think it's a good idea, though, because if this other thing, if... When this other right. thing pans out, mm-hmm. it, we're going to spread that much more. Right. And, and it's God's timing. Everything yeah. is God's timing. Um, those that I've connected with in the past, and, uh, you know, it's it, it's timing. Uh, the, when I get to know people, the door's always open. We're not going to shut it. We, we create that relationship, you know, and that's what it's about. And so uh, the door's always open for you. And we've had some hilarious times. Oh, my gosh. Uh <laughs> Please, please share uh, the Facebook. <laughs> That's exactly where I'm going. Please share about this. I, I'm I got great hair and and, and not too savvy when it comes to uh, phone. I mean, uh, cell phones and sure, Facebook sure. and uh, what's the other one? Instagram. Yep. Yep. And the other social medias and. So I was explaining to the, I, I don't know if she was a pastor. Or she might have been a pastor, but I was explaining to her. And, and then she saw, oh, does he have a Facebook page? I mm-hmm. said, well, we do. He does use Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, then I looked at her and I said, you know, I got gray hair. I don't really know this stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. I, so, I, you know, you have to contact him. He's probably... <laughs> But I can talk to you. <laughs> no, but you went forward. You had fun. You, yeah, you we, both got to laugh out. And that's, we're, we're not perfectly seasoned in this, but we're having fun. We're going forward. But we're, we're we got lots to learn, obviously, on uh, different areas of ministry, social media, and things like that. But uh, we have plenty of room to grow, and that's for sure. But I love these moments like that. Yeah. Um, by the way, how do you like your chair? That you're sitting on right now. Uh, what? It's the same size as you. Yeah. No. But uh, I always uh, get the short chair. <laughs> yeah. Now tell them what, why I have two of the same chairs. You you made a good point the other day. Now what was that? You're always tall and I'm the <laughs> short little old man sitting in the well, corner. <laughs> when we've done uh, things together before, I would have this tall chair. And he's like, well, you always look so tall and so... Um, like mightier, you know, but you gave me this smaller chair, and <laughs> so, so I just want to make sure you have a nice chair. This time. Yeah, I, we got equal chairs, but I must not be sitting right. But, uh, <laughs> no. So what's what's the challenge that you faced so far as you've been going forward with this? Mm-hmm. Faithfully, oh, this uh, understanding kind of what we have to do to get the five hundred one three C three C three C three whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, and to get the bank account established yep. and uh, the board of director, we, we're doing that. Mm-hmm. Uh, fortunately, we asked a few people, but they declined, and they're great people. And we're, we're, well, they didn't decline. Them. Just well, this, we're we're, um, we're we're learning where things are. That's and, right. And as we're going forward, we're just seeing um, we're kind of like uh, we're going forward, mm-hmm. but we're just kind of uh, we're learning as we're going. So we're just asking yeah. questions. Um, and the people that we, we ask are really mm-hmm. great people with great experience. That's oh, right. why we ask them. Right, and they're directing us further. Yeah, as they, they are. are. They are. Um, so uh, we don't have a, um, a bank account yet for it, but if you want to um, help us, uh, if you want to donate towards Faith United, uh, contact me. Um, uh, we appreciate any kind of help as we any kind of lawyer fees to get this uh, foundation oh. set. Um, any kind of uh, filing with the state uh, to become a nonprofit. I mean, this is gonna, it is gonna cost, and I know God's gonna provide for us. But if God puts it in your heart to help us. We we're very appreciative. That brings up another issue. Your mother and I went to this uh, this uh, what a financial uh, advisor, sure for Social Security. Oh, yes. Yeah. We want to make sure that um, 
we do good to get the max out of Social Security for her. Sure. Yeah. And uh, so it was next to her lawyer's office. And he said, well, if you need any lawyer business, you know, just let me know because that's, you know, we're in mm -hmm. with them. And I said, oh, well, <laughs> my son and I uh, were trying to start a nonprofit organization. Yeah. We sure do need a lawyer who would work for us that free gratis, you know, yeah, that, yeah. That, that needs the experience to give us some directions and stuff. And I said, well, if you got a lot of lawyers, it's surely you got one there that might want to help us. <laughs> right. And he said, well, what mission is it? So then we went in to explain what it was. Awesome. And he said, oh, this sounds like a great idea. So wow. we advertise all, you know. Yeah. And the thing is, we just want to help the body of Christ, yeah. you know, and, and this, our ministry is not about us. It's about how can we help the body, you know, mm -hmm. how can we bless the ministries and the missions and all that. Um, one thing I've, it's tough being the small fish in the pond. That's the challenge that we face is we're the, we're the people where we don't have that name just yet. You know, we, we haven't been around for years where people, but the thing is, we will be there, yeah. you know, and I am very appreciative of everyone that's come alongside us from the very beginning. We won't forget you. You know, we, we are very appreciative of that. Yeah. A thought that's come to me from, it has to be from the Holy Spirit. Sure. But this thought, you said, we're a small fish. And I said, no, oh, Jeff, you got to get off the small fish. But then again, in the feeding of the 5,000, there was only how many fish? Mm. Uh, five. Five fish? I can't remember. Wait, two fish, five loaves? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. The small fish. Look what it did. It fed right. It fed right. Wow. So there, you know, I just was told that. Wow. Keep That's thinking. Good. Don't think of the small. Thinking no, you're that right. it's going to be more. You're right. I I know the vision God gave us. And we're going to be blessing ministries and churches all over the nation and then around the world as well. Mm -hmm. I know where we're going. I just don't know how God's going to get us there. But he just does it one step at a time. One church at a time. One ministry at a time. And I love that one journey you had with uh, the young man from New York. Uh, yeah, Keith. Man. Keith. I want to call mm -hmm. him Daryl. I'm sorry, Keith. But <laughs> I keep yeah. thinking you're Daryl, but Keith. Yeah. And what he was saying when you guys were talking about it, it really hit home. That, uh, and I said, gosh, you know, it's, it's such a wild, mm -hmm. vivid message coming mm -hmm. out. And if, and if you had 400 and some hits or views. Right. I'm not sure how to read that. I don't know what sure. the views are, but that's not about that, numbers. Yeah, about who we're reaching. It multiplies. It's all right. those seeds that you guys just talking right. planted. Yep. And he is such a great young man. And not every one of those has a relationship with Jesus. That's right. So someone out there is listening. So hopefully, any video we do is to. It's not about the numbers, mm -hmm. and that's something I I really try to focus on. It's about do we reach the right person that we're supposed to reach with the right message. Oh, that's the whole key. Reach the right person who's crying to be answered to right. or talk to at that point. Mm -hmm. um, but with the fall, the small fish story is we really do. We are, we are the new kids on the block. Um, as you can tell, we are experiencing some bumps and bruises as we go, and that's what's going to happen. But you know why I feel that is? When other ministries want to start up and they don't know what, the heck they're doing right mm -hmm. we've been there you know i i couldn't tell you uh these steps until we experience the troubles and, or it bumps and bruises but one thing i will tell you is i will always have time for those that if you want to get a coffee with me sometime and you're starting up a ministry and we are now further on down the road i would love to connect mm -hmm. you know i would love to help another person like me I will not be that person that says, I don't have the time for you. You mean we're not going to have a, a <laughs> executive secretary over another secretary over another secretary? I'm just saying, if someone comes across me, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's about the kingdom. It's about helping one another. And that's, and I, that's I, who we are. I say this in jest. <laughs> I say this in jest. Yeah, I, I got started yeah. early. I, well, I won't go talk to that secretary. Oh, I'll, uh, uh, director secretary. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying that's... That's who we are. We're about God, we're about our families, and then we're about the ministries and what God's doing in the country. And that, it's that order. So um, and down the road when we have employees, same thing. God, family, and things. So if you need to take off for your family, you work for Faithful United down the road, by all means, you know, go take care of your family. And that's and that's what we are. You know, that's and that's where we're gonna stay. Um, what's one thing you really enjoyed? 
uh, I really enjoyed this. I, I really enjoyed the the journey episodes because I love just talking and getting to know people. And that's one thing I really enjoyed. Well, I, I think I enjoyed talking to the, connecting with the churches that mm-hmm. we, we visit. Mm-hmm. And some of them are real excited. Mm-hmm. And some of them are so excited. <laughs> right, right. And I said, okay. Then. And they still have to get like approval with their boards and things yeah, like absolutely. that. So nothing's absolutely. ever like that. And, and it's not supposed to be. It's, and it takes and the time's right. It takes time for you to connect back to them. Yep. Which mm-hmm. somewhere down the line when I visit you and follow through, then we can start spreading out a little bit more. And we're still growing. We're, there, yeah, right? we're still in the garage or the bedroom. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, I don't know. One of the things I met on that uh, on Tuesday potentially could be a future mm-hmm. office, and so that's another blessing in that area. So, um, and I know yeah. a good secretary you can type. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, your mother, yeah. not me. <laughs> no, but what what stories do you have of um, just going out there? By the way, I'm very appreciative of everything you've done, oh, but, and I've told you this over and over, mm-hmm. but. Well, I just want you to know that. It's kind of like today with the bank. Mm-hmm. I won't mention banks, but it's kind sure. of interesting. You know, the first bank we went to, unannounced. Sure. And I kind of announced our arrival. <laughs> <laughs> can I share this really quick? Oh, yeah, you can share it. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking into the bank, and he's just like, he needs a banker. <laughs> he just blurts it out. <laughs> and I'm just like... Thanks for the announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an appointment, Jeff? <laughs> oh, man, that was fun. Yeah. But so you got kind of, you decided to go set up for here. And I said, well, I'll go home and come here. Yeah. And then I decided, well, I'll go to another bank that yeah. we dealt they, with. They didn't have the time for us. Yeah. Well, we're going forward in this, you yeah. know, and, and we're not very pushy people. So... If you don't have the time for us, we're just going to go to the next one. Yeah, we did. And it, it, actually, same goes with churches and ministries. Mm-hmm. Um, as we go forward in this, we we hear of churches that are like, man, we we're suffering in this area. We need to reach people in this this age group, or we need this and this. And I'm like, well, can we help you? Can we just share who you are and things? And and they like, it kind of like, no, no, we're good. Well, okay. You know, I, I, I really do feel like God put us here for a reason. And that's maybe not the only way to help you, but it's we're here to help you. You know, yeah. that's what God put in our heart. And I'm sorry, you know, but the door will still be open for you. But we're there for you. Like, God put us here for a reason. And we're going forward with that. Yeah, like, I have to laugh. The second bank I went to um, before I come here is, yeah. it says, is your banker going to have time to talk to us at, after 4 o'clock? Or, or did they shut the doors at 4, even though it says 5? Oh, no, they'll be right here, right here at 5. And so the banker come and talk to me a little bit. And I said, well, we're just trying to sit down and get some ideas of how right. to do this. What right. do we have to do? Do we do the E, whatever you call it, ENC or EIN? EIN. EIN first or second or what yeah. have you. Yeah, that's the things we're learning. We're like, yeah. so what's the order of yeah. this? And that's... Questions were asked. So, so she said, didn't answer. She, I asked her a question, and she said, that's a good question. So she calls in this uh, manager, mm-hmm. and she comes out, and the manager looks at me, and I look at her, and I says, we know each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, and things like that. That's, oh, yeah. you know, maybe we can, even, maybe there'll be a sponsor for us yeah. someday, and maybe we'll be like, we just want, can yeah. we just have you be a sponsor, and we just point people in your direction. Because you helped us. Yeah. You know? I always used to take our money at that for five years to mm-hmm. her, and she was a behind the counter. And now she's a manager. I said, oh, awesome. This also reminds me. Um, I'm about giving other people time. I'm just, uh, I'm a friendly person. I, I see everyone for who they are, mm-hmm. you know, and who, uh, I try to see also people for who God sees them as, you know, and not necessarily my perception. I try to see what, Everyone's valued. You know, everyone has a purpose. Everyone has something great about them, you know. And I'm not saying names, I'm not saying where, I'm not saying what, but there's one scenario where I just, I ran across this one person, tried to talk to them once, and all of a sudden I'm just like, hey, can I just talk to you for a minute, just tell you about this? And I'll see, I see them trying to go talk to someone else. Like, as I'm sitting right there, they're looking elsewhere. Uh, it's just that really right there that really set a bad taste in my mouth. Um, but 
I try, I, you got to get through that, you know, and just, it's going to happen, you know, but I got put in my heart that this person, I didn't care for them because of that, but I forgave them because I don't know the scenario. I understand. Could have a bad day. Right, right. But, but what I'm saying is God put in my heart. Don't think that they're full of themselves. They don't think that they're overly confident. Um, just see them as how I see them. And I was like, wow, I don't know. You know, I don't know if I want my family to go to someone like this to get built up in the word. You know, I just, it was such a bad taste, right? But I recently, I'm like, all right, God, you're telling me I need to love the person for who they are and really see who they are and not that one moment. Wow. Boy, was I wrong. I was absolutely wrong. This person as um, I would absolutely send uh, my daughter, uh, my wife, to go hear what he has to say. His heart is in the right place. I picked up on the wrong thing. And I am so impressed with this person. And I'm so glad that God showed me through this moment of seeing for who I see them as, mm -hmm. not who you see them as. Well, that's as. a good point. And boy, wow. <laughs> because I'm like, I am not going to connect with this person for a while. Because And now I'm like, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> so that's a challenge. Yeah. It's just, yeah, that's that's one of the things. That when you connect people, uh, sometimes things aren't going to match up or uh, the interactions might not be there for a while. But eventually down the road, God will line things up. But you know, every time you go to... I was new, I'm, you know, I'm still trying to figure out how to spell out your dream to them. Mm -hmm. You know, and I can get there pretty close now. But uh, yeah, I'm getting better at it too. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, they all say, what a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, God gave a vision, yeah. we we're running with it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's exciting. It is. And, and God's allowing us to be creative with it too. So he gave us like a, uh, a a certain amount of the piece of the puzzle, and he's letting us to build from that and go further in that. So he's allowed us to be creative, but he's also going to kind of guide us as we go, you know, and and add things and maybe take away things and just, you know, he allows us to just be creative and make this something that we get to build on as well. That's right. Um, any last little comments or any advice you have for anyone out there or, or anything that you just want to share? What's this, on your heart? This, the God is good. God uh, is good. I mean, how else? I mean, I put my day today, I said, you know, that when he blesses us, it's tenfold, mm -hmm. but sometimes it's a thousandfold, mm -hmm. you know, because the way things are headed the last, last week has been just so great and we just need to Trust it and go with it and find out for what it is. Absolutely. Um, I encourage you all to check out faithfullyunited.org. See what events are coming up. Uh, right now, yes, we are in the Omaha region, but in the future we're going to have, uh, we're going to go to Lincoln and Grand Island, Kearney, Iowa, Kansas. God's going to be taking us places. Yeah. So uh, it's about, uh, the iPad is listening to everything I'm saying. Shut that down there. But um, God's going to be taking us places. We're not going to be in Omaha only forever. Um, I think it is going to take five well, years or so before we, we really make a big splash here. Well, you got some fielders in New York and uh, North Carolina. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm building relationships. Yeah. Uh, they got, uh, like, Keith and this Daniel Owens in North Carolina. They, they Wonderful guys. God is doing big things with them. And it's exciting to share what they're doing. You know, it's, and I'm excited for them. So, um, I just want to thank you all for your time. Uh, Faithful United, it's just, it's fun to share about what we're doing. We're always sharing about everyone else, but sometimes it's kind of fun to just be like, hey, this is what's new with us. Uh, we did bump back the worship event to uh, 2019. Uh, that'll be a wonderful time. We're looking at about seven or so churches coming together, one location. A night full of worship. Um, we'll just kind of share about the mm -hmm. churches and ministries we represent. Um, but yeah, yeah. Thank you for all your time. Uh, for your time, God bless. Bless you. <laughs>